6.5 Grindel and magazines. <clears throat> now just to run through this real quick. Duramag for 6.5 Grindel. Lancer Systems, uh, OD Green, uh, see-through mag, HK mag, <clears throat> uh, originally designed for the SA80, and this is a DNH uh, mag for 762.39. Now, <clears throat> what you may notice is Lancer has a pretty smooth set of feed whips. Just one notch in the back. The more normal feed whips on a magazine are like this, where you have these ribs right up near the top. Now the problem with these ribs, and I don't have them now, but the original magazines I got for my 6.5 Grendel were Elander magazines. They essentially copy a regular 5.56 magazine. Um, I don't know if they're any more tapered than a 5.56 magazine. Uh, they certainly have <laughs> both of the uh, ribs right there. And the issue with that is if you look at these two rounds, 6.5 Grendel has a much, much larger uh, rim <clears throat> notch for the extractor than 5.56 does. And that notch gets caught, or would get caught, in the Elander mags. Now, it's kind of interesting. Um, on this one, uh, the notches are a little bit bigger. Um, they're a little less severe. So, 6.5 Grindel, well, okay, now you can see it'll, it actually gets caught in that second notch, which is exactly what was happening to me on the Elander magazines that I've was first using for uh, 65 Grendel before I switched to the Duramag. Um, that causes failures to feed, which is why you don't want those notches in any of your 65 Grendel type magazines. It causes failure to feed, and then the round will nosedive into the front uh, face of the chamber uh, beneath the breech. Now, <laughs> while 65 Grendel will in steel magazines, there is enough room for it to actually go down. Uh, you'll wind up having stacking problems because it has more of a tape than 223 does. It's kind of disappointing that Lancer magazine doesn't actually produce 6.5 Grendel magazines, um, or Lancer systems doesn't, because they're awfully close. It's a little difficult to see here in the light, but that rim Sorry, the, uh, the front face of the magazine is just hitting the Palmer tip of this Hornady Black 6.5 Grendel ammunition. The reason I say it's unfortunate is because these feed whips are really nice for Grendel. Like, when you push it through, um, it's just lifted right along this corner here. It's smooth here, so this would actually push through really well. The only problem is... It's Palmer, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, most of the extra thickness is actually in the back. Um, and if Lancer actually made a magazine that took full advantage of the extra space, uh, the extra tolerance in a regular AR-15 magwell, then they could make a 6.5 Grendel magazine that's Palmer. For example, this is a T-91 clone I have from T91 Tactical, and when you put a magazine in, there's, there's just a little bit of room. Now, this lower is a little bit tighter than your regular mil-spec lower, but still, there is just a little bit of tolerance forward and back um, that you might be able to take advantage. 
Jeff. Now, that's kind of hypothetical, and obviously, if you have a well tolerance magwell like this T91 weller I have, uh, then you're not going to be able to do it. So, that's probably why uh, no one's actually managed uh, to make a nice 30 round Palmer 6.5 Grindle magazine. Um, obviously, I'd, I know someone did make a uh, 10 round semi single stack one, but that's about it. Anyway, enough about 5.56 five, type magazines. <clears throat> On to this stuff. These Duramags are the best 6.5 Grindle magazines out there. Um, and in fact, they're the only ones I know of uh, that will actually properly feed. So when the round goes in and it starts pushing through, it actually lifts it up at a nice angle. So it pops in, no interference, 100% reliable as I use them. Now you'll have noticed that these 76239 magazines by D&H, the AR-15, have a bit more of a bend because uh, 76239 does have more of a taper. And they actually have, sorry about that, they have a slightly thicker whip here. So these full, you know, 2.26 length 6.5 Grindel cartridges won't actually fit in this. Once you, once they get far, <laughs> once they get far enough down, uh, they start not actually fitting, uh, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, and... The other issue is you'll see this actually comes in at this point. When this goes forward, and you usually have to have a few rounds in here for it to be a problem, it can wind up hitting that and then stopping because the uh, shoulder hits this piece. Now that's a problem unique to 65 Grindle. 76239, which has a much smoother shoulder as it transitions from the case to the actual bullet. But DNH could have made a really good magazine for 6.5 Grindle if they made one without the shoulder. Um, obviously, that is kind of the one disadvantage of 6.5 Grindle. You have a very short main body. Uh, compared to a significantly thinner rest of the piece. Uh, and, and so unlike uh, something like 6.5 Creedmoor, where you have a, a good body, uh, a good length of body that you can use with the feed whips to help it feed in properly, it's much harder for this round. Um, that being said, as the Duramag proves, you can make a magazine that will feed this 100% reliably. That's all for today.